ships can be really helpful for your application and we will build here different kind of ships. So first of all we will build these ships, then we go over to the choice ship. So you have a choice and you can only select one ship. Then we will also have a look at the filter ship where you can filter with the different options so you can select different ships. Then we will also look at input ships which you normally use for writing some email or some message to someone and then you see here an avatar of one person and you can also delete this ship. And lastly we will look at some action ships so if you press on one of the ship then we have here some action going on. We will start here with a normal ship and here inside you can set for example first of all the label of this ship and then it looks like this. You can also put here a padding around so you have more space around your text and then it looks like this. And what we also can do is to add here for example a background color. I will set it right now to red. Next you can also put here an avatar at the beginning of your ship. So you have here this avatar property and here inside we can set a circle avatar and set for example a text inside and then it looks like this. And you can also customize this a bit so we give it also background color this circle avatar and now it is more white. Then we can also change here the text color so we can set here a label style and this is the style for this text here. And basically we set here a higher font weight and also a color of white and then it looks like this. Alright now you got to know how we can create a single ship and we also want to look at how you can efficiently create multiple ships and don't need to repeat yourself. So what we can do here is to wrap this ship inside of a new wrap widget and here we go over some of the ships which we store here in some list and here I have stored all the ship data inside so I have created a new model object and here we put the label inside of our ship and also the background color so we can modify it for different ships with a different background color every time. And this is a simple model object and now we can make use of this ships list and put it here inside into our wrap widget and then we create here every time a new ship. And if I now hot reload it looks like this because we have not changed the data yet. And what we also can do is to add here in this wrap some spacing. So we add here the run spacing and spacing to some spacing which I have defined here at the top of 8 pixels. And now we have here 8 pixels between our elements and also here we have more spacing. Now let's go here again to our ships list and here inside of our data and like you can see we have here every time a different color for all of the items and also different text. And now we want to apply them to these ships here. So let's go here back to our main file and here instead of this text we will take the text from this ship here which we get and there I will put simply this label inside then we have a different text and instead of every time showing here the red color we will put here this of our ship inside the background color. And then it looks already really cool. And now we can go over and create also another ship. So this action ship is all about if you click on it then you can perform an action. And that's what we want to do here. So right now we show here then a snack bar. However you can also apply your own functionality to it if you click on one of these ships. Let's build these action ships. So I start here with a wrap widget. And here inside we go over our action ships. So I have created here another list and this time we have here action ship data. So this data is a bit different. So we have a label, an icon and also an icon color. And then we also have here all these action ships where I put again all the data inside of all the different ships and I set here every time the text, the icon and also the color inside. And then we have here every time some different data inside. And now we go over all of these items in our action ships list and we simply build here this action ship. And what we have here first of all is the avatar property where we want to place an icon inside. And we take again this icon from our model object. And now if I hot reload this doesn't work yet so we also need to add some more properties. So we also set here for this icon a color and here again I take this icon color from our model object. And we also want to set a background color. So I set a background color of gray for this ship. I set a label 
And this is exactly like the last time, so we also set a label and also background color for the first ship which we have created. And then we also set here label style, this time we put it here to color of black only. And the most important part is to have here this action, so you have here this on press handler and every time if you press on the ship then sh something should happen. So what we do here is to show a snack bar and we simply say here that this action.label which we have put here inside is cold. And now if you hot reload we have here exactly this data inside and we have basically all the ships inside which we have placed here inside and you can also modify this data. And here in the beginning we have set here this avatar icon and have every time a different color for this icon and otherwise we have here the normal thing like before and also this on pressed handler. So now if I press here on this ship you see that we have here this action so we show here this snack bar at the bottom and then you can have here your individual action inside of this on pressed handler. Let's also look at a different kind of ship example. So here we have input ships and they are normally used for email names and you can also put here an avatar of this person inside and if you click on this button then you can delete this ship and that's what we want to create right now. Now let's create these input ships. So we start again with a wrap widget around and here this time we go over all of our input ships. So I have created here again a new list and here we have again some different data inside. So basically we need this label which is the name of this person and also his image. So I have stored here the link to this image inside and then we also have here again this model created and here we have only these two properties inside. And now here back in our main file we go over all of these ships and then we create an input ship and here inside you can set again an avatar and we set again a circle avatar and this time we want to set a background image. So I set here this network image and put this URL avatar of our ship inside which you have seen before in our model object. And then we also create the label like before so we put here some label inside of our model object. and. We also change here the style of this label and then it looks already like this here. So we have all the ships and we have here some name and a circle avatar. Here you can also add an on press handler. So if you click on this chip then you can do some action. And now if I do this you see that we have here this changed and it is active and we can also press on these items. And the last thing what we want to do is to create this deleted icon at the end and therefore we create here this on deleted method and here inside we want to delete this ship here, this input ship from our input ships list and therefore we call here simply the set state and call here our list of all our ships which we see here on the right side and then we remove here this individual ship which we clicked on. And that's all what we need for this case here. So let's try it out. So if I click here on one of these ships on the X then it will be deleted and it will be also refreshed in this UI. So always make sure to put here also the set state inside. And we can also click on this item and then we have here this action which is performed in this on pressed handler. Now we want to look at how we can create these filter ships and this is basically used if you have a set of data then you can filter these data with these ships which you see here. And here you see that we have every time if it is selected a check mark at the beginning. And by the way you can get the whole source code of this whole application with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more efficient and better and advanced Flutter developer. Now let's create also these filter ships and therefore I create here a wrap widget again and this time we go over the filter ships which I have also put here inside and here we have some data, we have a label and this time we also have a selected status which we might change so you can select a ship or not and we also have here a color for this ship. And again I have created here this model object where we have these three attributes inside. Alright, now here back in the main file we go over these ships and we simply create this time a filter ship. So it is again pretty similar like the ships before so we can again add here a label and we set it here again to the label of our model object which we get from this data. And now we want also to set the on selected. So every time if you click on one of these ships 
then we need to add the functionality what should happen and basically we want to toggle the is selected field. And for this purpose, we get here from this filter ship every time the is selected state. So this will determine if we have selected the ship or not. And now we simply update here our list. So we want to update the filter ships list. So I write here filter ships and I override it. And then we go here over all of our filter ships. And then we want to see if the filter ship, which we are currently pressing on, is the same as the one in this list. And if that's the case, then we want to change this ship because we are currently clicking on it. And therefore we simply change here this is selected state in our ship to this new is selected state, which we get here from this filter ship. And otherwise, if we have not clicked on this filter ship, then we want to simply return this ship without modification. And now we can try this example out. So if I click here, nothing will happen. And this is because we have missed one property. But first of all, let's also create here the label style. So I create here a different style. And you see, I take here every time the color of our model object and in our filter ships, you see that we have here every time this different color and this will be then going here inside. And now we want to make sure that this selection is also working and therefore we need to add here this field selected and here inside we need to set the state of our filter ship and I simply refer to this is selected field of our filter ship data. And this will always change here with our copy state method. So it's every time getting here the new is selected state. So now we can try this example out and I click here on one of these and you see that we get here this check mark and also I can click here on other ones and I can also unselect this chip again. All right, now let's also make it more appealing this design. So what we want to do is to add here first of all the selected color. So every time if we have one selected, we change the color and here you see we change it to this color itself. So we want to change the background color. However, we don't want to set here the whole color inside. So we put here also an opacity inside so that we also can see the text below. And therefore I take here this opacity of 25% and then our ship has here this background color if it is selected. And we also can add here, for example, the check mark color. So right now it is black. However, we can also put here the color inside of our ship. So we put here simply the color inside and now you see that it takes here the green color or here it takes the orange color inside. And the last thing what we can do here is to also change the background color of our ship if it is not selected. And there you simply put the filter ship color inside and then it looks like this. And we want to put here some opacity inside. So we change it here to 10%. So it is not the same as if the ship is itself selected but we also have here some color inside and then it looks like this so if i press on this item then we get here even in the background some more color and if we again unselect it you see only a bit color here inside all right we have already a lot of things accomplished in this tutorial and the last thing we want to look at how we can create here this choice where we every time can only select one item and no other item all right, let's also create these choice ships and therefore I use again this wrap widget and here inside I have created again a new list. So we have this time choice ships and here inside you have actually the label, you have the selected state like also the last example and then we have some colors so we can choose here the text color and also selected color. And again, I have also created here this model object inside and you can get it with the source code so you don't need to type it all the time. And yeah, basically again, we go here over all of our choice ships and we create then this choice ship widget. And here inside we set again the label property, we set your label style and we also set here the unselected like last time. And we get here every time if we have selected this individual ship. And now we want to update this choice ships list. So I type here choice ships and now we want to override them. So we simply go over all of our ships. And now by default, we want to deselect every ship in this list. So what we do is we create a new ship and we set all the ships to false. So they are all not selected. And then we simply return this new ship. So what we do is we check here if we have currently selected this ship, then we simply want to put here the is selected state 
which we get from this choice chip and otherwise we set here the new chip inside and this has every time the is selected state to false so we have maximum one chip which is selected and all the other ones are not selected. And now we also need to set again here the selected property. So again, I take here from our model object, this is selected property, and then it is determining if our ship is selected or not. If I now hot restart this example, you see we have here all the ships and it is also working. So I can choose here only one ship at a time and then only this one is selected. However, the colors are not great and that's what we want to change. So first of all, we can add here the selected color and we set it here to a color of green, for example, and then it looks like this. So we have every time the background of our selected widget in green. And we also can add the normal color of our background. So for all the unselected ones, we set here the background color to blue and then it looks like this and it looks much better. And now we have here every time only one choice for all the ships which we have. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!